హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు చైతన్య పిక్సెల్ యువర్ వన్ స్టాప్ ఛానల్ ఫర్ గేమ్ చేంజింగ్ ఎక్సెల్ హ్యాక్స్ అండ్ ప్రొడక్టివిటీ టిప్స్ టుడే లెట్స్ గో ఓవర్ టెన్ క్విక్ అండ్ ఈజీ టైమ్ సేవింగ్ హ్యాక్స్ ఇన్ ఎక్సెల్ దట్ యూ కెన్ లిటరలీ స్టార్ట్ యూజింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ టుడే లెట్స్ డైవ్ ఇన్ రైట్ నౌ వాచ్ టిల్ ఎండ్ ఆఫ్ ద వీడియో టు నో ఆల్ ఎక్సైటింగ్ ఫీచర్స్ అండ్ దెర్ ఈస్ ఎ సర్ప్రైజింగ్ బోనస్ అట్ ద ఎండ్ లెట్స్ గెట్ స్టార్ట్ first one high contrast and color picker for the sales header i have applied orange fill color and yellow font color but i am not convinced with the font color here let me click on the font color palette and enable this high contrast only and when i enable this one it will show the appropriate font colors which suits in that orange background so let me choose this one and see in the orange background this font color is correctly popping out second one navigation and table of contents when you are working with a workbook that contains lot many sheets it's very difficult to go to specific sheets for this there is a cool feature in excel called navigation go to view tab and click on navigation this will show navigation pane at the right hand side of the workbook and you can click on any of this sheet name it will jump into that sheet and within that sheet it will also identify the groups of ranges that has the data for an example in the dynamic checkbox if i click on very first range it selects the dynamic checkbox the second range is the data and the third range is the progress percentage this navigation helps to go to specific sheet or specific range within a worksheet third one dynamic checkbox when you are working with a task and the task contains multiple activities to perform you wanted to track the status of those activities you can select the status column go to insert and click on the check box so this will insert the check box within this range selected wherever the check box is there in that cell automatically updates false when you click that cell it updates with a true when you uncheck this check box it will updates back false so this helps us to track the status you can see when i have selected one out of five it is showing 20 percent the progress when i select two it calculates 40 percent because i have a formula here you can pause the video and observe the formula how i have calculated the progress percentage fourth one focus cell this is another cool feature added by microsoft into the ms excel when you are working with a large number of data and you don't know where the cursor is within the data you just go to view tab and click on the focus cell this will highlight the entire row and column of the active cell when you move the cursor outside immediately it highlights the entire row and column and this is very much helpful when you are working with a large number of data also you can change the focus cell color if at all you wanted to turn off the focus cell feature just go and click on this focus cell it will turn off this highlight fifth one sheet number on the status bar again this is another cool feature in excel when your workbook having lot many sheets and you don't know which sheet you are in you can right click on the status bar and choose this sheet number this will update the current sheet number here in the status bar currently it is updated 5 out of 11 that means in my workbook there are total 11 sheets but i am currently working with the sheet number 5 number 6 status bar calculations 
Suppose here I have sales column. When I select the sales column, it defaultly shows average, count and sum. If I want to add few more statistics to these calculations, I can choose minimum, maximum and numerical count as well. When I click on any of these calculation, let's say I click on the sum, it copies that number and wherever I want, I can paste the number 8741. You can see the number is correctly matching 8741. So this is how we can make use of these status bar calculations. The seventh one, expand formula bar. Whenever a cell contains a long text or the longest formulas in your workbook and you wanted to read the whole uh, text or formula, you can simply ex click on this drop down and the shortcut key is control shift u and when you click this it expands the formula bar which makes us to read completely and if you want little more to expand you can also drag here to give more room to read eighth one clipboard mastery in any of the application we can copy once and paste multiple times like this we can paste multiple times but in excel we can copy multiple times and paste all at once to enable this feature click on this clipboard icon it opens a pane left side of the excel and just keep copying the data and you can observe the left side it is getting updated whatever we copied Select the destination and click on paste all. It just pastes all the items that we have copied. You see, we have copied five items and five items have been pasted here. How cool is that? Ninth one, pattern fill. Here I have the serial number one. If I key two, and select both of them and drag down it updates the serial number 1 to 10 the difference between the serial number 1 and 2 is 1 so when I drag down it will be incremented by 1 suppose if I have 3 here and selected serial number 1 and 3 and drag down it will also increment by 2 each number because the difference between serial number 1 and 3 is 2. So when I drag down every number will be incremented by 2. At the same time we have a dates here. When I drag down in the dates the day will be incremented by 1. You can see here 25th February and the next date is 26th February. So it is incremented by 1 day. When you left click and drag down the dates, it will increment it by 1. But when you right click and drag down, it will give you a couple of options to choose whether you wanted to increment by months or years or weekdays or series or copy cells. Suppose let's say I'm going to choose fill months. So each cell will be incremented by one month. At the same time, if I right click and drag and choose the fill years, each cell will be incremented by one year. So how cool is that? This is awesome, right? And number 10, collapsible ribbon. When you are working with a large number of data and you wanted more room to work on, you can collapse these icons and ribbons by clicking here, this drop down. Click on show only tabs. So it will collapse or it will hide all the icons and shows only the tabs here. After completion of your work, when you wanted to access back all the icons, just double click on any of the tab name, it will expand the ribbon back. Bonus one, right click tab navigation. So this is my favorite one all time and this is the bonus tip. Whenever you right click on this navigation, 
it will show this dialog box with all the sheet names select any one of the sheet and click ok it will take you to that respective sheet these innovative excel features and hidden hacks are designed to supercharge your workflow and save your hours of time every day each trick brings a modern twist to your spreadsheets and making them more efficient drop your favorite hack in the comments below don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more excel tips and trending life hacks thanks for watching and see you in the next video